If you want a great Christmas, then download One Football. It gives you all the latest news of what happens in the magical world of football. They've sponsored this video. I'd like to thank them very much for doing so. Anyway, moving on. Gogsy here and welcome to episode 169 of Around the Grounds. It's absolutely Baltic here, but today it's Motherwell vs Dundee. Looking forward to today, I always look forward to these games because I've got a couple of pals who support Dundee so there's always a good bit of banter on the side. We've got about 10-15 minutes, gonna get the 7.59 train from Cooper. Yeah, it's early. We're starting early today. It's really early for the game, but oh well. Anyway, uh, let's just enjoy ourselves because it's the last game before Christmas. I'm on the well. If there's time for a Santa hat, it's now. I mean, this doesn't even fit properly on my head. So it messes up my my cracking barrack today. Oh well, let's catch that train. Above You won't be saying that half that full time. Oh, fine. <laughs> Predictions, we're gonna draw one all. Nathaniel, the elf, what's the score gonna be? 2 0. Jake's the big. What's the score gonna be, lad? 2 0. 2 0. Oh, aye. Andy, what's the score gonna be? 3 0. Our, 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 oh my god, he's finished the Red Revolution. <laughs> he's gonna be singing songs about keep the end of the night. Right. And our honorary guest, Callum, what's the score gonna be? Cheers lad. We're off to the ground because I've got to go pick up tickets for Rangers on Wednesday and then of course I've got a special letter for the gaffer. Stephen will know when he reads it. Oh! Oh! Go on Mickey! Oh! Oh Charles! Just as I finish my bye, we go and proceed. Oh dear. Right, the hat's going off. Come on! Come on! Oh, it feels so 
So we've finished the sesh, but we've not. Well, not really, but the sesh has just finished us. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. So we've got 20 minutes to get a carry out. 20 minutes, uh, further 20 minutes to get the trainers first one we just said off camera. Kerry, you're wrong. No, that's me like a bit. Aye. The game was absolutely terrible, but kind of glad it ended in a draw because, like, yeah, because yeah. they, they were both happy. Aye. Aye. Because if one of us had won, the other would have been a bit dejected. Uh, dejected. Sorry. Oh, that is brutal. Like. But uh, aye. Santa hat on, and away we go. I don't know if he's a followers of the Jezza the Snake Facebook page, but <laughs> we, we unfortunately. Yeah. Let's say um, we lost him in battle. <laughs> um, it's the last time Dundee played Motherwell actually. Uh, it was actually. So it was fitting that um, we're going to remember him. Yes. At the, the reverse fixture here in Motherwell. Yeah. Where it was his home town, Motherwell. Aye, we bought him here. We did, we bought him. Uh, we'll show you where we bought him. What was the price? The, the it was like sex trafficking. Like <laughs> the man, the man created a thousand pounds worth of memories. Oh, definitely. I mean, he was a he was a lovely gent. If you knew him, uh, uh, if absolutely. you didn't know him, then I'm really sorry you didn't get to meet the man in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, to Jezza, won the Jezza. He, he's a he's a spirit in the sky. So when I when you lay me to rest, I'm gonna go on the piss way, Jezza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, as Ryan said, no Jezza, no party. Fraser, what were you saying about Glen Kamara? We've got Glen Kamara, we've got Glen Kamara. Yeah? The fans can't say who doesn't give the ball away. Yeah, on, good son. Just saying about Mark O'Hara, if you're watching, this is not favouritism towards uh, Glen Kamara. We still love you, Mark O'Hara. <laughs> what a guy. That's a good drum as well. No sponsorship for Copperberg, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, that's still in our mother. <laughs> That's still in the pipe, boy. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> TB, if you know who he is, if you don't know, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Sign me up for the <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you get good reverberations around here, but when you get outside, it's just in the, it's in a terrible drum. There's the train. <laughs> We should cool. play like and question bingo. Like if she says, How was your evening? You take a drink. If she asks, How was the game? You take another drink. <laughs> the ultimate killer is Do you want that do you want me to wash that scarf? Oh no! Like, you can't wash a scarf see, man! See when your mom asks you to wash your scarf, it's like if you were to wash that it would like end my life. Absolutely. Like what? a scarf is for life, no matter what state it's in. I mean I've seen I got this scarf on we were in the administration season, so... Yeah, fair buzz. Seven years has passed, and of like, what, seven years? An administration, obviously, a relegation, a promotion, a top six, and all that. I've seen so much, to be honest. Aye? So... That's what it's all about, lad. It's been to hell and back, let's just put it that way. Aye. Whereas I've had the Santa hat since, uh, like, uh, three days ago, and this mother was scarf in, like, five years. Uh, what's changed for that scarf and all? Oh, I know. I know. If you zoom in closer, it says Champions League. It actually does, like, it says here, like, if you can see. A lot of, like, um, young supporters will be like, Motherwell, we're in the Champions League. Aye. This shows that we've gone from playing against Panathinaikos and Stoic Bucharest to Parthet Thistle and St Johnson. Getting pumped by Parthet Thistle 3 now after Champions And St Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. Hey, let's. Let's get this crate opened. It's Christmas lights. I mean, there's a song by Coldplay that I've already included in the world. Q&A Sunday. Aye. So, but uh, I had 20 chicken nuggets. Uh, I gave some nuggets to a homeless guy who was just sitting on the street. Thought, uh, why not? Uh, shout out to me and man Kenny. 
Oh yes, good son. You can just see the Christmas spirit oozing out of us. Why do we need all that? Who cares? One minute past midnight. It's Christmas Eve. To your health. The next day, Sunday, Christmas Eve, it's 10 to 3. Get the train to Haymarket, then heading up. Oh, I'm feeling tired for Christmas Eve right now. But oh well, uh, bring on the rest of the journey, I suppose. Every day is no way day. Finally back in Cooper now, 5 o'clock, 7 hours till Christmas Day. <sighs> this year's gone way, way too quickly and this slump that Motherwell's in right now is going way too badly. Please, lads, make it stop. Anyway, let's get into the analysis part of the video and I can wrap it up. On Saturday, I thought the game was quite poor. Uh, I think we dominated more of the first half, I think we were more likely to find the back of the net. Although Dundee I think did hit the crossbar. Neither side completely threatened and neither side really looked like they were going to take a hold of the match. Then Dundee got a break at the start of the second half, Paul McGowan scored, it was a decent finish to be fair. And then it was all us up until we scored to make it one each. And Craig Tanner, or oh, if it wasn't for Craig Tanner, we'd have lost that game. He was phenomenal yet again. Then after we scored, Dundee just basically had the majority of the possession. Trevor Carson got injured again. Peter Hartley seized up. Uh, Elliot Freer was hobbling about for 10-15 minutes before he eventually came off because he pulled his hamstring. And you can't play through a hamstring injury. And that'll be him out until the Scottish Cup. So it's all going remarkably pear-shaped. You know, I would actually pay to play left winger instead of Elliot Freer on Wednesday. And I would just love to run up and down that wing at Ibrox, that would be phenomenal. And if I scored, Wednesday I fear is going to go one of two ways. It's going to be either about three or four nothing to Rangers. We're going to somehow sneak, sneak a point or get something because I just don't see us doing that great because we've got so many injuries. We basically took a gamble on everyone and it was against Dundee at home and we got a point. If it was three points, it would be a gamble paid off, but unfortunately for us, uh, I think the situation has got worse. But Trevor Carson had an unbelievable game yet again. Uh, good to see him coming back from injury, although his shoulder did go again. But that save he did at the end of the game, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. But Dundee should have won the game, I think. They were not clinical enough, and we've got to thank our lucky stars for that. Anyway guys, uh, I'm going to leave you here and I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. I've not, I'm not wearing the hat because I'm going to be wearing that in my Q&A and there will be a link in the description for when that is uploaded. Uh, so please go check the Q&A out right now. And yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you soon. I hope you all will get what you want for Christmas. I mean, what I want for Christmas is three points from Ibrox, but that's not really uh, plausible at the moment. I'll see you later, guys. Take care.